Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your friendly neighborhood poker prof, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea PC. Yeah, another late episode. Blame a 7 morning, 7 in the morning shift. Essentially, it's come down to this. This time of year is the busiest time of year for my work, to where I am getting, like, stupid amount of hours. On the bright side, I get paid a lot more. On the bad side, I have little time to do anything else. So yeah, things have just been a little bit hard for me to make sure I'm able to get everything done on time. Especially considering the fact that I'm also finishing up a particular project that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Hint, hint, go see part one of said project and get ready for part two. It's coming. But with that said, I have been able to grind just a little bit. King's level 25 and actually has some decent weapons now. And believe it or not, Mason and Cooper actually got to level up a little bit, so... Yay, they're a little bit more useful. If you're wondering why Cooper doesn't have his gun, well, it's because I went and unequipped it. So I am able was able to get him to join in on Mason and King's attacks for leveling up. I'll probably re-equip it to him later. I'm pretty sure I explained why Philippe is, like, stupidly high level. With all that said and done, let's go in to the last, well, I hopefully last, area of the Blair Forest. The Heart of Evil. Prince, is this the Heart of Evil? Yes, that was what I just called it. That's right. No one's here. Also, is it just me? Or does the audio for Laharl and Flan sound a little different compared to Etna's? Which means... Now hold it right there! Oh god, hey, Midboss. it's Midboss again! What do you want? I'm busy right now. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just that one recording bit, but for a moment it sounded like... The quality was a little bit different between Laharl and Etna. Tsk, tsk, tsk. You weren't thinking of calling yourself the Overlord without first settling things with moi, were you? So this is going to make the third or fourth time we've had to deal with you. Third, I think, if we're actually fighting you. Fourth, just in general. I already settled things with you. Twice, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Silly you! Did you think that I was serious? Oh, so you mean you're gonna be super serial this time? Weren't you? Not at all! That was merely camouflage, so that you would let your guard down. Mm-hmm. Now, you shall witness my true power! Yes, the power of being James from Team Rocket. Oh wait, I made that joke already. Oops. I have attained ultra speed by training and training and training, all while wearing 100 ton <laughs> boxers! <laughs> so essentially, you did the training of freaking Goku and Piccolo from early Dragon Ball Z, but instead of actually wearing anything useful, you wore heavy underpants. Can your eyes keep up with moi? Uh huh. Here I come! The throne is mine! Here he comes to save the day! Oh dear. We be surrounded. And there he is. Doesn't look like there's anything. That's actually the wrong thing I was looking at. Ooh, electric eel. I doubt I'll get till rank 9 in there, but it's good to know. Alright, so they're all level 17. Barring mid boss and his gargoyles, which are 20 and 22. Okay. So I still fairly outlevel this, so this shouldn't be too hard. Matter of fact, I won't even use Philippe since he's so far ahead right now. Alright, so special. Let's do some blazing knuckles. Actually, that's a good idea to show off because I remember now. Since King has the mana, we can actually see Lion's Roar in action. Alright, so let's see... Um, 
You know what? Since Maddie could use some experience, special ice. Let's do that. And now you're close to so let's go ahead and do. Oh, I can actually do that? Okay, let's do that. Actually, no, let's not do that. Just in case. I don't want to... You know, let's actually just execute first, and then I'll do it to see where everyone's moving. Oh, wow, those guys actually survived. Actually, weak to wind for the most part. It's like, oh no, they have randomness. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's just start slag slagging them one by one. Surrounded. I think at this rate, you guys are actually harming each other more than you're harming my teammates. just have to go through the demon breath of every single one of you guys. Let's do Wing Slayer. Oh, that's not gonna work. Let's try one over here. Special Wing Slayer. I need to move one less. So I'll kill at least, hopefully kill at least four of you guys. And get you moving over there just so you can fight them, Laharl. Unfortunately, I can't really have Flan do much in terms of helping out so because every en other enemy is like too close, really. Let's get Mason out. See on the off chance if we can get her to survive. I will say, I'm a little surprised at just how much they actually move off the screen for your characters. Because now we've seen Lion's Roar, which is basically like a super, um, like, spirit bomb ability. And it, it's just interesting how this thing, how they're doing things. It's like, oh yeah, let's move completely and totally off the map. It doesn't matter how far we go. Let's go ahead. 
special. Oh yeah, that's right. Wing Slayer takes a butt ton of H of uh, SP. I forgot about that. My Here I come. Ah! Oh, a little tankier than I thought, gargoyles. Sure, you're right there. Die. Now, the other really cool thing about King here is now that they're a ninja, they're getting so many counters, it's ridiculous. that Soul Eater move is the only reason I would want to gargoyle my team, just being able to drain the life out of my enemies. Frickin' dodge for the win, holy hell. I was told that they were dodgy characters, but that's ridiculous. Alright, attack Betty. Purple, you, King, Guts. And Etna just all gang up on frickin' mid-boss. Jesus. Oh, Guts, you are so dead. So let's see, he's almost dead. Who do I want to get the experience? 26, 23, 25, 26, okay. So let's try to give Etna the experience. So she's gotta get the last hit. Beat it again. I also think this was my maybe last chance to actually show off the mid boss ending, so. Eh? I really don't like to lose. Uh, uh, sudden stomach cramps. Really? Frickin' really? It's like that one dude from frickin' Final Fantasy VIII. Just when I was getting started, I, I beg your pardon, but I need to use the restroom. <laughs> Go to the little demon's room. Consider yourselves lucky. You've been spared. Uh-huh. Au revoir. Later, mid-boss. He ran away. Yet again. His excuses are getting more and more pathetic. Mm-hmm. Huh? So, is that it? Uh, yeah? Kind of a disappointing end to a chapter, if you ask me. That means... I'm the Overlord! Is it official now? Are you dubbed this? 
Are we true, Overlord Laharl? Overlord! 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 He sounds so happy. Hmm, the prince is now the Overlord. Hey, you don't seem too impressed, Edna. It's so hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, look at him. He is so happy. He pretends to be evil. But he can be cute sometimes. <laughs> of course you'd think about it that way. You think? Well, he's just a kid, that's all. You're all kids! Anyway, shouldn't you be worried? Huh? What do you mean? You helped the prince become the overlord. Yeah, now we got the prince as being the evil overlord against the angels. Uh... Oh yeah, that means you gotta kill him now, isn't it? Master Lamington! Master Lamington! Are you here? I was wondering we were going to see you again, Volcanus. You make a ruckus every time you are here to see me, Volcanus. What is it this time? How can I not make a commotion? Flan is evil! We must kill her! Lahar, the son of King Krachevskoy, has been crowned the new overlord! Yeah? Hmm. That's not all. That trainee Flan helped him win the throne. <laughs> is that so? Oh, this is no longer a case of disobeying orders. This is treason! Treason of the highest order! You are correct. Wait, wait, what? So, what are you planning to do? Yeah, Lamington, what are you wanting to do? Hmm, I will need to think about it. I must have some serious pondering to do. Think about it. Think about it, you say? This is a grave matter. Uh -huh. We can't just ignore it. I will handle this problem. You have no objections, do you? Uh, yeah, you're going to get your ass kicked. <sighs> oh, dear. What should I do? Um, panic. If the Seraph hears of this, there is no telling what punishment awaits me. I might be dismissed from my angel trainee position. You could always live here as a demon. Who cares? Why don't you change jobs now and become a demon? See, that's what I just said. No! <laughs> she doesn't like it, I guess. Oh, Master Lamington, please guide me. I don't think praying to him is going to work here, sweetie. Episode 6 end. Next time! The evil Empress Etna has sent monsters to take over the world! <laughs> but when evil creeps up on people, Flan, the messenger of love, comes to the rescue. As long as evil exists, Flan's battle will never end! Run, Flan! Don't lose heart, Flan! Let the people's cheers bring you courage! Magical Girl Flan! Guardian Flan! Next on Guardian Flan, Warrior of Love, Episode 7, Drop Dead Etna. Always keep love in your heart. Wow, Flan. <laughs> I always wanted to try this. <laughs> Flan, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll save later. <laughs> oh my god, you two. Flan completely steals the show, and then Etna shoot shows up to shoot her. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of expected that. Jeez, you just keep laughing and laughing. Well, he's a true overlord now, sweetie. How can I not? Even though he's like level 26, 27, compared to the level 90 vassals and the level freaking 300 zombie that we have. I'm now the Overlord. That means that I'm the most eminent demon in all of the Netherworld. Yeah. I am aware of that. But ever since you've become the Overlord, you have done nothing but laugh. Mm-hmm. You don't understand a thing. 
laughing is a very important aspect of being the Overlord. Yeah, but it isn't the only aspect, Laharl. And you've been doing it for three months. Besides, there isn't any urgent matter that's suitable for my first act as King Laharl the Terrible. Terrible, huh? Oh, Prince! I got a job for ya! Oh, cue it now. Call me your highness! I'm the overlord now! You know, I normally would argue against this, but he's actually got a point. Aw, come on. That's a minor detail. <laughs> minor detail? So, what kind of job is it? Uh, it's another fetch quest. You want me to make it rain pepper on Earth so they can't stop sneezing? Okay. That's more like a prank than anything. Or do you want me to give human kids an addictive video game that will deprive them of their sleep? <laughs> We're playing that! Uh, no. Come in, Aramis! Aramis? Wait, what? Who's this kid? My thoughts exactly. Don't call me a kid. You're more of a kid yourself. Oh, got a mouth on him just like Laharl. What? Who the hell do you think I am? Now, now. He is just a child. Oh, dear. Shut up, flat chest. Oh, ho, 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 ho. excuse me for being flat. What did you say, you? Oh, you know you piss someone off when you make an angel mad. <gasps> I mustn't. <laughs> Calm yourself, Lon. At times like this, love is the answer. With love, there is understanding. <laughs> and then he says something else, and Vaughn will be like, I want to punt him through a wall! Hey, does she have a few screws loose or something? Huh, you got some attitude, kid. Mm-hmm. Just like you, Prince. Yeah, right. So, what's he got to do with the job? Oh, yeah. His pets are missing. Oh, God. It is a fetch quest. Hmm? And? And your job's to look for them. <laughs> Why? Why would I, the Overlord, look for some stupid little brat's pets? Ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! Bring me something more fitting for my first task as Overlord! Yes, please. I refuse. <laughs> Wait, what? Even Flong shocked about this. It may seem ridiculous to you, but it's important to him. Yeah, but why is it important to us, Edna? This is a perfect way to begin your rule as Overlord. By helping people? I thought demons weren't against that. And if you don't do it, I'm never going to accept you as the Overlord. Okay, this kid's got something in relation to Edna. I'm calling it now probably like a brother or something thanks to her memories. What, what are you getting so mad for? It's not like you. Answer me. Will you do it or not? Ugh, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. Good, and you better not slack off. Okay, I'm now wanting to kick this kid. Ugh, why am I, the overlord of the netherworld, taking orders from this annoying brat? Of being an overlord. Episode 7, of being an overlord. Alrighty then. Everyone actually has some different dialogue now. <laughs> There's no ring. <laughs> oh, I like you, Golek. I really do. Although I could have sworn your name was Mint originally. Oh, Dragon's not even down there. Hello, Dragon. Alrighty then, uh, let's go and Prince, check. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Yeah, we know. Alright. Eternal loyalty. Ooh. A little dark 
work there at now? Aw, she really cared for him. I think I've read everything else. Alrighty then. So let's see. We actually haven't had Arminus join us, right? Uh, no, cool. Alrighty then, so we don't have time to actually go into the next area, but we can at least see what it involves. Salamander's Breath. Uh oh. So that's where we're going. Salamander's Breath and the Scorching Wind. Considering those names, I'm gonna be guessing fire-type enemies. But we'll worry about that after we've done a little bit more grinding and maybe even gone back into the item world, because it's been a long time since I've touched that. But with all that said, we're going to go ahead and see you next time. Until then, folks, take care.